Hello, it's Frank Deirdre for That One Web Guy. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you what to do if you're locked out of Loganizer. Now, I was just going back to a site that um, I haven't used in a while and uh, noticed that I got locked out and I couldn't even actually remember the username that I put in. Obviously, I tried a few times and now it says I'm locked out for uh, 15 minutes. Um, of course, after 15 minutes, I'm still going to be locked out because I'm not really sure what I put as the username and password which I've done in another video, but I'm just going to tie this all together and show you what to do for Loganizer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my cPanel, which I have here. I'm going to uh, first go to phpMyAdmin because I'll need to figure out what the heck I set my password to, username and password to. So if I log in here, I have it set to Frank um, and the email is port at frankgeriff.com, which explains why. I've been using support lately just so it goes into the support desk instead of to one of my email addresses and I've not gotten accustomed to of doing that doing that yet and I don't usually use my first name anymore uh, for my username uh, for various reasons um, so that may have been one of the reasons and I'm not really sure that could have been the password I thought but I'm not positive so I'm just going to go ahead and reset that so right now I'm just going to go ahead and set it to something simple just so I can get in and for the purposes of this video um, I'm just going to use something that I don't normally would do, but let's just go ahead and put in um, password 2020. And I'm going to change this immediately right after, but uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do that. So I did password underscore 2020, and I need to set this to MD5 because that's what WordPress uses for their encryption for the passwords. So when I click on go, it's going to encrypt my password, as you can see here, if the user passes that now and the username still Frank. Now, of course, I could change that if I want to, uh, but I'm not going to. I'll just leave it at that for now. So the next thing I'll need to do is then go into uh, File Manager, and I'm sure it's the Loginizer that I'm having problems with. So I should be able to just go in here, go to WP Content, Plugins, sure enough, I have Loginizer here. So <clears throat> I'm hoping that I can just go in here and rename this to uh, Loginizer uh, temp or something in that same that thing um, so that's not being used currently so let's go back and see if I can refresh the page send password you enter for the username is Frank is wrong so let's try password underscore 2020 login and it still says no That's where it was. I just typoed it. I just re typed it in again. And of course, now I am in. Now, if I want to use Loganizer again, then I can. Um, and I'll just go back in and change that setting. Uh, so once I'm in, I could actually go back in to my cPanel and now rename this to, um, where is it here? Loganizer. I could go back in and just rename it put it back to Loganizer and rename the file. What Loganizer does, of course, is it gives you three login attempts or whatever you have it set to uh, to keep people from hacking in and, uh, you know, guessing the username and password. Uh, obviously, I couldn't do that. Well, I just tried a couple times. You get three chances and you're locked out. So uh, that's how you can get around that. If it's your site and you have access to cPanel, you can get around from... Um, the Loganizer Lockdown. I hope you found this useful and I'll be back with another video later.